In this video I'll be discussing the deformation of materials. Uh, our example that we have here, something I just made up, we have a 10, 10 inch long uh, square extrusion. Uh, to the left here I have all the different cross-sectional areas and I've also listed the material type steel on the exterior and then we filled up the extrusion with uh, extrusion pipe with copper. Um, the way the force is going to be applied is basically a, a plate that will not deform. There will be no deflection in this plate. It will just be an evenly applied force. And uh, here at the bottom here, we have a couple of equations that we just need to remember. First of all, you have your stress and then also the deflection. And so the first thing we need to note is that due to the differing modulus of elasticities each of these materials will deflect differently and not only because of the um, elasticity but also because of the surface area the cross-sectional area so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set a condition that will allow us to set up some sort of ratio between the different deflections and I'll show you how we do that so the first step is, is we're going to use this equation just on the left here. And we're going to set this equation for both the steel and copper situations. And so, let me dive right in. So using that equation, we have F L over E A. Now, rather than uh, writing it out, I'm just going to draw out some similarities right away. This is for steel. This is F L over E A for the copper. First of all, our lengths are going to be the exact same, so you can just cross them out. And it's tempting to say that the forces are applied the same, but that, that's not going to be the case. The forces are going to be different between the steel and the copper because one material will give away prior to the other. So there's actually going to be a force uh, steel and a force copper. So that's what we need to solve for first. With this setup that we have here, I, we can actually just put some reality numbers into here. We know that basically force steel is going to be all over EA, which is going to be 29 e to the 6. and then point three nine that equals the copper portion which is going to be just force of copper all over the seventeen e to the six and its cross-sectional area, 2.25 inches squared. And the whole purpose of this is not really to solve for a particular number, but just know how they relate to each other. So we can just say that F of steel is equal to 0.29 five six f of copper and this is an important equation that we just need to remember and it, it'll help us solve something so now we just need to find another equation that describes at least one of these cases um, so that we can use this function that we've developed this relationship so first of all we know that if that's the forces being applied 
then um, let's see here. We know that the force is being applied oops, is 10 kips right up here. Then we know that basically 10 kips it needs to equal FS plus FC. And we can just, I can solve the math for you, but FC turns out to equal 7.72 kips. That's just using the equation below. And steel is going to be the remainder, which is 2.28 kips. So now we have our force. Now we just need to back this in to the, uh, the, the, the stress that's going to be applied to each material. And then that'll be our answer. So I'm going to turn into red here. So using those numbers that we just determined, the stress of copper is going to equal 7,720 pounds over the cross-sectional area, 2.25 inches squared, which equals basically 3,431 PSI. and that's of copper. The stress of steel is going to be similar, calculated in a similar fashion. 0.398 and there's 0.39 and that's 5.8 Four six psi. Okay. So all I wanted to point out here is that the steel is actually taking a significant amount of that force, and you can tell because one we've calculated it up here, the force differences, but also you can see kind of the 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 stress differences within each material and there's obviously much higher stress occurring within the steel because that has a higher uh, modulus of elasticity thus um, the force is going to tend to want to sit on the steel because the copper gives away easier well that's all I wanted to go over in this video I have a couple more coming out pretty soon, so uh, feel free to make any more suggestions. Um, I'm going to be uploading all this stuff to my blog as well, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and give me feedback. Feedback, feedback. Thank you.